In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add feet to the basic armature that I've been developing. For the 3D model of the foot I'm just going to use a cube. So I'm going to put the 3D cursor roughly where I want it. Add mesh cube. Now I'm just going to scale in the three directions S for scale, X for X direction and get it roughly foot shaped, S for scale, Z for Z direction I'll get it roughly right and then zoom in to fine tune S for scale, Y for Y direction G to grab and G to grab Uh, it's a little bit thick, so I'm going to go for S for scale, Z for Z direction, G to grab, and get it where. And add some colour. I'm going to call it foot colour, and I'm going to make that magenta about there and there's the foot I'm going to name the foot so I click on the object properties and change that to foot underscore capital L and it's the character's left foot now I want to duplicate that to create the right foot I could click duplicate here um, but it's very difficult to click that without accidentally moving the mouse so not touching the mouse, I'm going to do Shift and D is the shortcut key for duplicate. Uh, but you need to click off the text panel first of all. Shift and D and I have made a duplicate. Press Enter immediately because you're in grab mode and if I move the mouse I would have moved the position. Change this to foot for right and the reason why I didn't want to alter the uh, duplicates position at all was we just want to make the X position negative to put it on the right hand side the characters right hand side and there's our right foot there to add the bones for the feet select the armature and go into edit mode select the tail of the lower leg and shift and E to extrude with mirror hold down shift press the E extrude your bone I'm going to uh, not place it deliberately and zoom in to get a good placement so now I'm going to press G to grab and place the tail of that bone uh, select the bone and name it foot left and take any roll off and select the other bone and name that foot right and take any roll off that Now to connect the 3D model, the cube, to the foot bone, I need to set up a parent-child relationship. Um, I need to select first of all the cube and then the foot bone. If I go into pose mode, if I go to select the foot bone, it keeps selecting the control bone which is behind it. To overcome that problem, I've gone to the outline and I'll look for the there are the target bones. If I click on the eyes here, they won't be displayed, and that makes it easier to select the foot bone. So I'm going to select the shoe, hold down shift, select the foot bone, control and P to create parent child relationship, and select bone. 
and do the same for the other foot. Select the shoe, hold down shift, select the foot bone, control and P, and select bone. And don't forget to redisplay the target bones. I am going to add a constraint to the feet bones. So I'm going to select the first one, bone constraints, add constraint, limit rotation. I'm going to limit all three. The bone goes to a funny angle to local space and it goes back. I'm going uh, rotating about the x-axis 30 degree minus 30 to plus 30 for transform and don't forget to do the other bone add constraint limit rotation set to local space for transform and uh, minus 30 to plus 30 about the x axis one more job to do I was using the y axis as the ground level so I'm going to bring the root control bone down a bit so I'm going to go into edit mode G to grab and bring that down in line with the bottom of the shoe and then I'm going to go into object mode and press G for grab Z for Z direction and move the whole rig just so it's touching the Y axis and there we are done. I want to look at posing the legs so I'm going to zoom out and go into pose mode now the uh, legs have two control bones target control bones at the end of the legs if I grab one of these these are the main bones used for posing the legs. The actual inverse kinematics constraint is added to the lower leg bone, but in its properties is the link to the target bone. Now, by selecting the backbone, if I press G to grab, when the lower leg is not in contact with the target bone, it will always point to the target bone. So I can move the backbone around and the IK solver will calculate all the poses for me. But the IK solver does need some help. It needs some limitations. Now they are not in the IK constraint properties. You have to go to the properties of the bone and scroll down and there is an IK panel there and that's where we stop a, a pose being calculated with the knee bending backwards or bending to the side. Once you position the leg you can pose the foot. Uh, you can either press G to grab or R to rotate. Now I've put quite severe limitations on the movement of the foot. Uh, the limitations on the inverse kinematics were important because the computer works out the poses and you didn't want it to work out an unnatural pose. With the foot it's not so important because you are posing the foot and you can always choose not to put it in an unnatural position. So the limitations, the uh, constraint limit rotation is very much optional. I put it a bit too severe. I think 50 would be more appropriate. And if you you may decide just to delete it all together. It's a personal choice, but that's the end of the tutorial. Thanks for watching. I'll put the beginning file and the end file at my website, freemovies.co.uk, the Blender channel there.